the road again, kids, to quote Willie Nelson. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, about midday now. It's a little after one o'clock, something like that. And we are on I-65 South, heading down towards Indianapolis. And uh, I am having to reacclimate myself <laughs> to driving again, because uh, I took quite a long hiatus. Uh, had some stuff going on, had to tend to. So uh, I am back at it with the new company and um, having a good time so far. Uh, it's my first load. Um, people there all seem really great. Uh, my impression's been really good so far. And uh, hopefully that trend continues. And uh, yeah, so we're heading down to a little town in South Carolina. I don't recall the name of it. It's somewhere near Columbia, South Carolina, somewhere down there. Uh, not too far north of uh, Charleston. And uh, that's one of my former stomping grounds when I was in the Navy many, many moons ago. Uh, I was stationed in, uh, on a ship that was in uh, North Charleston Naval Base. And that's back when uh, the US Navy ships were still made out of wood and had sails. Uh, no, I'm not quite that old. But, I digress, I am uh, doing surprisingly well considering I was up at two o'clock this morning having to make the adjustment because uh, I had to be at uh, the yard where I parked the truck at about four so that I could get the rest of my stuff moved in, get pre-trip, get rolling, and head up to Plymouth, Wisconsin for a 7 a.m. appointment. And I rolled in there a few minutes early, which is always good grabbed a loaded trailer and off I go. So I just stopped for some fuel. And uh, yeah, before that I had to fight my way through uh, Gary, Indiana traffic. And my God, that just never gets better, does it? Um, man, what a cluster uh, coming down 294. You know, as soon as you start getting uh, uh, 294 and 80 merging together, it just backs up for miles, uh, just a complete parking lot, so it took forever to get through there. But uh, we're doing okay now. I-65 always has traffic. Um, in my opinion, this should be three lanes all the way down to Indy. But, who am I to say? And of course, I don't pay for it, so I don't know who pays for that. I don't know if Indiana would pay for that, or if the Fed would pay for it, or maybe it's a combination. I don't know. but. It would be nice if I-65 between Chicago or Gary and uh, Indianapolis was three lanes instead of two, but oh well, maybe one day. Uh, but I just wanted to check in and uh, we are on our way. I have, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get. I am pretty tired. I'm not acclimated to this anymore. Uh, so I got to get my, uh, my sea legs back as it were. And uh, I don't want to push too much. I've got a lot of time on this load. Um, I basically, you know, if I did 400 and change one day and 400 and change the next, and then deliver in the morning. So uh, pretty easy peasy. You know, it's almost dead on a thousand miles, you know, 990 something miles. So, you know, four or 500 miles a day, that's, that's a cakewalk. So, um, so I'm not stressing about it. I'll just uh, do as much as I can today and uh, see where we end up. So I will check back in later. One nap later. Well, welcome to day number two of our road trip down to South Carolina. Uh, we are in Kentucky. And uh, gosh, what road are we on? We're on I-75, I-75 going south heading towards uh, the Asheville, Knoxville kind of direction. Uh, we are, as you can see, uh, we are in the um, confines of the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, I always pause when I pronounce that because up north, uh, when we went to school, we were taught Appalachian and I've been corrected my entire life uh, <laughs> by folks that live uh, in said mountain range that say it's Appalachian. Um, and of course, I would always take the word of a local any day of the week, so Appalachian it is. 
uh, the gorgeous Appalachian Mountains. Um, we're just in the, uh, the small little foothills of them. We're not into the big stuff yet, um, but we will be at some point today. Um, so the plan is uh, keep going south on 75, then we will pick up, uh, what is it, uh, 64, I think it is, or, or 640, 640, something like that, uh, to, I believe, 40, and then to 26, if I remember correctly. But I'm getting old and forgetful, so maybe I'm not remembering it correctly. But interestingly, when I was in the Navy, years and years ago, when I was a very young guy, um, I was on a ship that was home-based in North Charleston, so North Charleston Naval Base in uh, South Carolina, and uh, I used to make that drive uh, from the Chicago area to Charleston, South Carolina, uh, straight shot 11 hours without stopping, except to, you know, pee every now and then, but had a fast little car and, uh, yeah, I made good work of it. So I'm following in my former footsteps, now in a gigantic semi-truck going a whole hell of a lot slower. Uh, and I'm a whole hell of a lot older, but of course, hopefully a whole hell of a lot wiser. And uh, yeah, going back to Charleston. I, I have not been, or not to Charleston, but pretty darn close. And um, I have not been into that part of South Carolina since. So since I was, God, how old was I, 20, something like that? Uh, I'm 57 now, so yeah, 37 years. I haven't been there in 37 years. So, boy, time flies. You snap your fingers and bam. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just wanted to check in, give you a little preview of what's to come, and more and more beautiful landscape on a gorgeous day. 70 degrees and sunny, a little hazy, but I'll take it, and uh, more later. Welcome to Tennessee, everybody. We are crossing the Kentucky-Tennessee state line, and it's nice to be back in Tennessee. I absolutely love this state. I love Kentucky as well. Uh, both of the states, absolutely breathtaking scenery, and uh, some of the nicest people you'll meet. Um, I've always uh, encountered really nice people in these parts, so welcome to Tennessee, everybody. Well, it looks like we are entering the Great Smoky Mountains. We are on I-40, uh, heading southeast and uh, getting into one of the most beautiful parts of the country, in my opinion. Um, Smoky Mountains are just magnificent. Um, and I, there's part of me that wants to <laughs> keep the camera running through the entire thing, but there are very few people that would watch a video that long. But uh, here's a little snippet of the driving in here. It's awfully fun. Yeah, gotta really watch what you're doing, which I'm gonna go do right now. Welcome to the Smokies. All right, and yet another state. Welcome to North Carolina. Yeah, I haven't been here in a long time. Uh, still driving through the Smoky Mountains and uh, just wanted to catch the border crossing. It is absolutely gorgeous today. Last time I was through here, it was kind of crappy weather. And there was also, I don't believe there were any leaves on the trees. Um, could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think so. Anyway. I'm still enjoying the ride here. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll check in in a bit. Well, nature calls. There's a rest area coming up in about a mile or a mile and a half, something like that. We're still in the Smokies. And uh, my gosh, I wish you were here. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to turn out on video, but boy, it is an impressive landscape here. I'll tell you what absolutely stunning especially for us midwesterners we're used to flat land you come in here it's like oh man <laughs> so beautiful all these rocks and all the colors in the trees and i love it when you get that water runoff along the rocks and you got those like shiny patches on the rocks i think that's cool as hell but uh man just breathtaking there's an old, old, old mountain range here. Millions and millions and millions of years old. And uh, they are absolutely spectacular. If you've never been
been through here, um, Interstate 40 coming through the Smokies, um, and actually we're going to hook up on I-26 to head down into South Carolina, uh, and both of these highways through the Smokies, uh, just stunning. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So, oh, here's our rest stop. So, let's leave the cameras running. Let's see what the rest stop looks like. Ooh, there's a big drop off. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, oh, that is nice. Well, how could it not be nice with this land? <laughs> how in the world could it not be gorgeous? One pair of pants later. And we have made it to South Carolina. Hello, South Carolina. I haven't seen you in a long, long time. So, yeah. <laughs> ever since uh, my Navy, I actually, no, not ever since my Navy days. I actually went down a few more times uh, with my dad uh, just to go hang out in Charleston and over in the Isle of Palms. But, uh, yeah, haven't been back here in forever. And still a gorgeous day, and we are still on I-26 heading southeast. It's I-26 east, and it kind of goes on an angle all the way down to Charleston. And uh, we are about 75 miles from our destination, which is a Loves that I plan to stop at. And uh, we'll shut down there for the day and be up early in the morning and uh, go deliver this load that we have on our back. And uh, that'll be load number one completed uh, for this new company. The next morning. Oh, well, happy Wednesday. And we have made it to our destination. Our very first load with this company. And uh, we are at a Food Lion distribution center in Ellery, South Carolina. And uh, boy, it's, it's wild to be back down in this part. <laughs> So anyway, it's zero, zero dark, well, not zero dark. I woke up at zero dark 30, so the sun just came up. And uh, we gotta go park and wait for a door. And uh, everybody, please wish me luck because this is a capstone place. Yeah, and anybody that knows capstone logistics knows exactly what kind of nightmare they can be. So I'm hoping, 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 hoping that uh, the loading gods will be with me today and uh, that capstone won't take seven weeks and yeah I'm being a little crazy here but you know what they say when you start driving a truck is if you got the room use it well I got the room so I'm using it and uh, anyway I gotta pull in here and go into that little office there and see uh, when we can get ourselves loaded. 